Hello everybody, in this video we're going to look at how to build a T-Track module kit that you could use for a T-Track module, but in this case I'll actually be using this as one section of the base of an HO switching layout. So let's take a look at how to build it. Okay, so to rebuild this HO scale switching layout, I'll be using a set of two T-Track modules for the base of the layout, and, and these kits are, uh, are actually from Masterpiece Modules, and I'll have a link to that in the description below. I do like these here in particular because they are a little bit stronger uh, in the construction in that all of them do, all pieces do interlock, and they're not just uh, glued together at the joints, but uh, there's a lot of uh, physical strength just in the tab and, and sort of slot construction that these modules have. Um, uh, these are all laser cut, but they still do have a lot of little bits of, uh, you know, wood, here and there that are kind of like little fuzzies here and there that need to be sanded off. And I do provide some sandpaper with the kit. And I also, in a recent video, made some of these sanding sticks, which are just paint stirs with some spray adhesive put on and then um, various grades of sandpaper attached to them. And these make sanding uh, a lot easier and quicker than using just a, a small sheet of sandpaper. Although this is still helpful for some of the little tiny areas. Um, uh, you know, in terms of getting into the little corners and such things. So, so first off, to get started here, um, uh, things again you will need are some sandpaper, or you can build a sanding stick like this. Uh, again, I have a video you can watch on how I built those. And of course, you are going to need some wood glue to uh, assemble everything together. And a mallet or, or hammer is also helpful for getting the pieces uh, uh, together, since it is kind of a snug fit in all of these joint areas. So to get started here, what I have to do is go through all these pieces and sand them so we do have a good fit uh, for our pieces when we do get to assembly. So I'll go through and start doing that. Most of the uh, large edges here are for the most part okay, but all of them do need a little bit of sanding work. And for some of these smaller ones, I can't put the sanding stick in there, but I do have these other smaller ones that, I've, that I had purchased previously, and that makes it pretty easy to go through and sand some of these little, little uh, areas in here. And you don't have to get everything perfect, but it just does help when you're assembling to get you know, some of these larger kind of fuzzy pieces out of there. Now, these, uh, some of the, uh, the back sides here actually have a number of holes and squares put in here. And these are actually designed for, if you're doing a T-Track uh, layout, for connectors to go into. Um, you can also obviously just use them for, for your own wiring um, uh, as well. So those aren't, you don't, you don't have to sand these for construction purposes, but just uh, if you are going to use them, you know, for, for wiring or whatever else. So I'm going ahead and applying a, a, a thin strip of glue along where the edge of the internal panel will be. And then I'll also go ahead and do a little bit on each of these tabs. The only thing to be careful of when you're assembling these modules is to make sure you put the glue on the correct, on the correct sides of all the, the joints. So you don't end up with areas that uh, don't have glue and or you know and glue in other areas where you don't want it. Okay. <laughs> so apparently I have the wrong side. I have to go ahead and use this back piece. So once again apply some glue here. And now things line up and I can this tap and slot construction is quite tight, and so you are going to have to hammer this together. And uh, I'm just using a piece of scrap wood here to prevent, um, you know, marring up the finish too badly. So you can see this is a very tight and very strong uh, because it is so tight, and so. Um, once you get these sides assembled, this thing is really going to be quite sturdy and, uh, you know, it's not going to have uh, too many problems in terms of 
the parts coming you know, apart sometime down the road. These sides aren't gonna just randomly pop off if you handle them too roughly. Um, again, I'll, I'll be building a frame around this and mounting, mounting this into a, onto a wall as a shelf, and so um, it likely won't be moved around too much, but uh, again, uh, very sturdy in the way that it's constructed. So, so let's go ahead and finish tapping this home. And then I can proceed to the other side. Okay, so now I have the two sides, the front and the back, and I can go ahead and work on attaching the side pieces. So I'll have to make sure first that I have the ones that, that line up correctly. It may or may not matter, I'm not sure. And they look to be pretty much the same. So again, same procedure. I have to move it to the floor here so I can try to get these uh, side pieces assembled. And okay, we have one of the sides on. Again, a little bit tricky since again, they are tight fitting, but again, that does also make the joints extremely strong uh, once all is said and done. And these holes here are actually for, uh, they, they give you a little leveling feet. So if you are applying these modules to so just like a, a table and trying to line them up, um, you can use a little lo leveling feet to, uh, to do that. Um, and those work with these little corner gussets that uh, help strengthen the corners. So now I'll just get that last side attached and we'll be just about done. Okay, and now we pretty much have uh, everything ready to go here. Um, the last step is to glue on these corner gusset pieces to help strengthen them. Um, and these just fit into these slots here that are present on each of the sides, or each of the corners. And so now just to clean up a little bit, I am just gonna wipe down the sides to get any of the glue off that may have seeped through. So if you do want to go ahead and paint and stain these, you'll get a nicer finish. So anyway, here is a completed T-Track module kit. Um, again, you can see it is a very sturdy construction with all the interlock interlocking sides. Uh, this module kit, again, does include openings on the back that you could use for wiring if you were using this as part of a regular T-Track layout kit. Uh, again, I plan to build another one of these section, sections bolted to this one and make it a, a sort of a permanent HO scale switching layout. I'll be building uh, some sides in the back to it as well and uh, eventually just mounting it to a wall as a shelf that, and that'll be kind of its permanent home. Um, although, again, it will be still small enough to be able to put it in the car, take it to a train show, that kind of thing as well. So anyway, so that's all for this module section. I'll build another section just like this. And then once I have the other section complete, I'll have a video on how I actually join these together and build a frame around it and, uh, and finish that to look nice uh, before moving on to building the actual switching layout on the module section. So anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.